Upside DIY, so I'm, I'm cooking some pizza and I'm gonna re and I'm gonna edit a video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So I buy two of these for 17 free pizza and and so and a few times and they're I'm gonna double this up and pretty much double this up and pretty much uh, have a wonderful Friday or weekend and I'll see you all later. Hey, how's it going YouTube? Welcome to Upside DIY. So I finished, I patched up the suitcase on the inside. There's actually like an aluminum foil sheet that wasn't fully uh, glued or anything but I but I restocked up on liquid nail so I squeezed glue on the and I made a new patch these other patches were kinda small that I'm gonna use for oiling tools and cleaning tools and I used a spreader so I, I uh, got underneath started spreading onto the suitcase then I cut another patch that is twice as big and it goes up to here so basically and then I use this board started spreading liquid nail onto the patch so the suitcase and the patch were uh, being uh, you know ad adhesive and the board was like up to here so I got this this board kind of up to here with the patch and I folded the patch on I mean in half uh, the glue side and basically had to imagine the the glue side going down or, or making contact with the glue on the suitcase. Basically, uh, the, the since the patch is folded, the bottom, I tucked it underneath the board, kind of like up to here, you know, just a good amount, you know, and the board, uh, and basically, uh, with the bottom of the patch, the top was exposing the adhesive, so I slid the top, uh, you know, up to a certain point, and things like that and then finally up to here underneath there and then it, it actually fit perfectly and things like that um, you know slid out the board and then put another board uh, this one is actually going in deeper so that a lot more of the surface and this board underneath is actually trying to to make a lot more pressure so the glue could I could actually add like a can, which I'm going to do. And this tool right here was just to help, uh, you know, push, uh, you know, just tough spots, I guess. So I'm going to put those there for now. Put this piece of cardboard on top. Kind of like double check underneath and that's going to add more pressure. I could do this on the ground. Hopefully I just move the board to the side a little bit more. So there's more support right there. Kind of like over here, and that's getting pressed down by both of those boards. This glue dry for over the weekend if I have to. Today's Friday, so I've got this uh, can of weight of rocks pretty much weighted, and this rock is actually pretty good. If I was into minerals, so um, yeah, just, it's really tough to make this video, but it's really a good video or a good build. But uh, just show off the next one. You guys pretty much know everything about this with the last video, the clips, tucking this, uh, you know, lining up. The, the 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 patch adhesive patch and rolling it out uh, adding you know some boards and getting you know as deep as possible and there's another clip um, you know some of the tools so this is just a review and this right here is actually I want to try to make but here are Here's some of the washers that I use with the little small screws. Just uh, I've had these f 
for a long a while somehow I found these and these uh, actually came real useful so I've got a, a few different types of or a couple of different plastics there's this I could use this because the zipper is broken or maybe this is a ziplock bag I'm not a hundred percent sure yeah this is a, so I'm not going to use this it might be missing the zipper though but yeah I'm not going to be using this because this is actually a really good bag so I'm just going to be you using this right there so just in case you know just in case this is all I really need actually is just some clear saran wrap plastic and then pretty much uh, some of the uh, glue that I mixed I can actually touch up paint afterwards the uh, pure gold really matches so let me just mix in a little bit more and stuff and show you guys how how uh, this looks that's like a perfect uh, I could pretty much guarantee I gotta let this dry first but maybe until then I'm gonna just finish this side and I'll see you guys on the next video so here's pretty much this, most of the glue I need the quick epoxy and then I've got pretty much uh, candles and wire brushes onto the to-do list and I need to actually go and look for the wood today. I I know a situation, but I don't really feel like talking to people and buying used wood when I'm, you know, caught up in my own project. The thing I don't know, I actually don't shouldn't even tell anybody. Or some of the touch-up paint on the smartphone, which I'm kind of stuck on too. So it's going to be another month until I get find a way to get the rumble motor and parts so I'm, I have time to do this and thanks for watching YouTube uh, could actually like mix these two together and this one actually matches really good it's pure gold I guess they call it so I'll probably match this up with the liquid nail and I got another different type of plastic to 20 or 19 minutes later and I'm up to the point of mixing the glue I just need to get some of the plastic prepped up even like this plastic that I'm mixing the quick epoxy which is this stuff right here quick setting the suitcase repair in the hallway but uh yeah I mixed in some of the pure gold I'm gonna add a little bit more and that's a liquid nail and I mixed up the epoxy, sorry, that's first, so I used this stuff first on the outside and then applied some liquid nail, which is this, a clip from the other suitcase and put in the screws. And then I also decided to add a mix up a little bit more epoxy and put some on there. Anything else? I try not to cover the sc screws. But uh, yeah, this is kind of like the outside. So now you can see one, two, and then now three, mostly installed. I really wanted to get this finished up just so that, you know, when, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to be able to uh, pretty much will know where things are. One of these pieces is a plastic and it, I might have to. And I, I also folded it a, a few more times. It's just got the piece of plastic a good size. And then I, um, I just. This is going on the inside of this. So I could actually add glue on that. But I'm just going to actually. And after I finish this part up, I could put away the liquid nail and use it for boxes or whatnot. It's a really tough uh, idea to grasp and stuff if, if, you know. So, I know it's like really amateur looking, but 
going to try to basically cover up most of the glue so that it doesn't stick to the suitcase. I also like can use another piece. Um, and you know, after this stuff dries up, or um, somehow it's going to create like a plate of glue and things like that and I think I mixed up a lot of uh, you know excess I actually could manage a few things uh, but as I mentioned working on this for a few days so that I make sure the, you know, just to double check. So that's protected, see, so. And on this side, the, you know, wherever the holes were, last pieces of these ready. And this souk, and basically, I, I, I might put this into like, I need to find something, but uh, I'm like a Q-tip. You know, I'll use a Q-tip afterwards and probably touch up using the, as, as many supplies. I'm going to put away the liquid nail and then uh, touch up paint that. Okay, so I had to actually make two cuts and, you know, a piece of paper really helped, you know, cut along the line. And even this work box, you know, I could get any dry glue off and not make too big of a mess. And let's double check the time. Uh, it was pretty much 23 minutes ago. So, so now I just have to apply this semi uh, blended and do a final inspection and maybe close the suitcase. And if I could use up any extra of this adhesive, I am. All right, so that's finished up. And I'm just mainly covering this stuff up just to keep things in place what is drawing and you know just getting it started drawing is the main focus and then after that I could really uh, like work on a few things together mold it keep it keep it covered or uh, refurbished keeping items refurbished flies away and then now and I put it like rubbing alcohol inside of this pickle jar so I'm really using a lot of my supplies that I've been stocking up and finally putting it all together into one decent video. Show details and things uh, and show you guys kind of something. <laughs> it's not like the best, that's, uh, I, you know, the, the wet side is pretty nice, but the stuff that's already dried up and things I'm going to have to... Uh, use use basically stuff that I stored up and salvaged uh, that you might consider uh, you know consider uh, might consider uh, you know consider valuable and most of it is your your own skills and you know the the effects that the important thing you know positive uh, You know, compared to like, um, not compared, but just when it was broken and actually getting to this point, I'm really liking it just because, uh, but there's, uh, but there's the zippers basically, um,